Hi everybody, it's Michelle here. I just wanted to do this quick voiceover and get this up on YouTube to let you know that I am going to be getting the weekly up later on, probably by the time it loads and everything, it's gonna be the evening most likely. Uh, so it's been kind of slow going with uh, the internet. So we knew this was coming. This could probably happen even more, but just you know, keep your eyes open and be aware. But I wanted to let you know that, that I am planning on getting uh, that up later on. Hopefully you're doing okay with this lunar eclipse day. I tried to wake up in the middle of the night to see if I could watch what someone else was filming and they were doing it live and um, I caught only a glimpse of it, but it was okay. But anyway, <laughs> the energy is going to be very different today. I know I woke up and I was, oh, I felt like I could get another 12 hours of sleep. So if you're sensitive, you are going to be affected by these energies, whether other people say whatever, whatever about it you're going to be affected. So keep an eye out today for certain things that are going on. Um, if you suddenly feel like you want to eat better, you suddenly feel like, you know what, I can't be around this group of people or I can't be doing this kind of work. It's not really a day of um, terrible endings. It doesn't have to be that. But think about anything that's hitting you emotionally. Hitting you emotionally. Being very aware of what needs to go because it is an emotional drain. Okay? So that'll get us started there. Now, I did manage to get uh, readings that came in, standard readings that came in. I already have those done. Now, it's spring break for my nephew, so I'm going to go visit him for a little bit, and then I'm going to come home and do the videos, uh, and I'm going to do more readings. So, what does that mean? The potential is there. We know how this gets tricky, okay? But the potential is there that if you get in really quick on a standard reading, when I come back, I'll do it today. I, I already have the time slot open for it, so... We can do that. Just keep that in mind. If you end up, you know, getting in behind a few other people, it's still not going to be a terrible wait. I'm staying on top of these because my schedule is going to be changing drastically in the next few weeks, okay? So um, I'm just trying to make sure I get everybody in uh, right now. Now, as far as live readings, let's talk about that. Those will become, at least the spots, the available spots will become fewer and far between, if at all, okay? I don't know if I will be able to keep taking those on, but I can for the next few weeks, especially this week, all right, if you wanna get in, um, I don't have uh, too many people scheduled this week thus far, so get on in, you can email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com if you wanna get in uh, and grab one of those spaces, uh, just let me know what time zone you're in, what time you're looking at, and we'll get you fit in, okay? So that's the update, I don't know if you've noticed, I've been trying to update um, just through the community post, about where we're at with readings. It seems, even I find it annoying. I'm sure a lot of you find it annoying. And yet, um, this is when people go, oh, that's right, I wanted to get a reading, and they come and get their reading. I didn't make the rules, okay? I don't, <laughs> I would be annoyed at seeing a post every day, like, here's where we're at on readings, here's what we're doing, but I don't know. That seems to be the good reminder for people who wanted to do that. So we have lots of interesting energies this week. We're absolutely building up to the April 8th eclipse. Now, I will talk about this more in videos, but I wanted to put this out there just sort of quickly. So we are mindful of that. We're thinking about that. Major things happening in the world, most likely. They're already happening, but we're in it, okay? We are in it. So no panicking, just being aware. All right. And now how that's going to affect you personally, it could be very positive. You know, this lunar eclipse emotionally is probably getting you to clear things away. And then the eclipse is going to finally give you the courage to let something go. And maybe, you know, we're giving the example of like health. If you've got a bad health habit, maybe you find the courage to finally let it go. Some of you are going to be getting jobs. You might have an unexpected love opportunity come up, right? So, you know, these are the things that are going on. Obviously, I'll talk about those in the videos, but that's where the personal readings come in if you want to see how it's from an angelic standpoint. Please remember, I'm not an astrologer, not trained in that. I know a little bit, but I'm not trained in that. So it's going to be coming from an angelic channeling, you know, um, sort of way. So, uh, sorry, as I, as I was trying to finish that, um, Archangel Michael is here. Archangel Metatron is here. And they're on deck to help us and to really help us. The message right now that's coming through is that we need to be getting in touch with our, um, yeah, our spirit team, but specifically, obviously, our guardian angels. And some people have been sort of mistakenly um, tapping into other energies. And we could talk about that 
as well. How there are also sometimes darker entities that are assigned to us, not from any good place, uh, but sort of like, hey, this person's doing good in this world, or hey, we know this person has been incarnated to help with this spiritual warfare. They're working for the light. Let's see if we can throw them off. That's the simplest way I can put it, okay? So some of you feel a very near presence, and maybe you are thinking that it's a spirit guide or a guardian angel of the light, and it's not. So Again, that could be something that we could look at as well. Anyway, lots to come. <clears throat> Pardon me. <laughs> oh, oh, one last thing. Speaking of my voice going out, <clears throat> I do apologize. Um, I will be getting the podcast back up and running. I had technical difficulties, and then I got sick. And now this is not awful. It's just, you guys know, if you've had a cold, you've got that lasting little thing with your voice. I'm just waiting for that to clear up. And then my my darlings, we're going to hit the ground running. We've got so many topics to cover in those podcasts. What to do when people are trying to uh, deter you from being spiritually healthy by calling this stuff ridiculous. Um, some of the spiritual warfare tactics that are out there, which is going to be a lot of societal narratives. We see things getting broken open right now. People are getting exposed. We're going to cover it all. All right. So I think that's everything like for real though. So I will get that information, the videos and all that good stuff up um, a little bit later today, maybe this evening, if it's taking forever to load, please get in line now. Okay. If you want readings, because again, not that I won't be doing readings at all. I might here and there have to shut it down and then open it back up. Just depends. Um, I'm taking on a whole other project. So, and it will be taking up most of my day. So when we do schedule live sessions, it might be on a weekend and maybe it won't be every weekend. You see what I'm getting at? So I just want to keep you guys posted. And also I want to extend just a huge thank you to all of you who have hung in there with me. Social media is tough. People can be putting a lot of work into their social media platforms and it's doing well. And then it's like you get tucked away and forgotten. And um, that that can be okay because honestly, I haven't had to deal with a troll in a very long time, which is awesome, right? So like the people who are still here are like the good hearted, beautiful people. And that, that hey, we, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna complain about that. I think that's wonderful. But I just wanted to extend my thank you to you guys for your loyalty, your support, for hanging in there with me. Um, this is turning into a very long voiceover, but I just want to mention, you know, if you guys don't know, there is a possible TikTok ban here in the United States, and it looks likely to go through. Now, I think if that goes down, people will go to other platforms, but there is the possibility of a resurgence on YouTube again because people don't know where else to go. So that's a possibility. Hopefully, you know, we can all just band together and stick together. We need a way of getting information to each other. Okay, so anyway, we'll leave it there. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Be mindful, okay? See what's kind of coming up for you emotionally that you're ready to release. And I'll chat with you later. <laughs> Bye.